Hey everybody, it's Murgle, and today I went ahead and retested, you know, I wanted to test the time frames because now that the classes are released, you know, everybody can play every class, and um, I wanted to, you know, get you guys the numbers for what I think the fastest farming classes are. Now with all the changes and stuff, I went ahead and did something that I'm quite accustomed to, full demand, and I, I ran a bunch of runs, well, well I ran a one single run, with what I believe to be the fastest abilities on each class and uh, I did one single run and I ran all the way in finished it and then I ran out as well because with Legion they're getting rid of the um, proving grounds and since the proving grounds is gonna be gone we can't use our little nifty teleport in teleport out trick so we will have to run out of every single dungeon they say they're getting rid of it for the sake of making it easier to do heroics and stuff together but I kind of believe that they're getting rid of it so we can't use it to do our faster runs I know it sounds silly but I think that's the main reasoning behind it so I did a single run and I tried to optimize every talent so I could get it as fast as I could get my character moving every time and you know I did the best that I thought I could and um in the end, the fastest character for doing a single run in and out of Uldaman was a duh, Feral Druid. Yes, a Feral Druid. Um, you use the talents Displacer Beast, Sprint, Stampeding Roar, all on cooldown, and you jump around as quickly as you can, and bada bing, bada boom, you, I cleared it in 7 minutes and 43 seconds. So, that being said, I still think Demon Hunter is capable of doing it much faster. Because my full run on a Demon Hunter of Uldaman, in and out clearing it, was 8 minutes and a single second. Mind you, that time is on a 20% mastery stack. If I were to stack my mastery up, and let's say I got 40 to 50... I could reduce that time greatly because I'm going to be moving over 30% faster if I have 50% mastery. I'm only moving at a 20% speed right now, but I could go way quicker, you know, if I was moving at a 50% speed. It's just logic. And uh, I managed to get 8 minutes in a second on a Demon Hunter with 20% mastery. Now, I also tied at exactly the same time at 8 minutes and a second was elemental shaman they have an ability called gust of wind and it leaps you um i think 20 yards in the in front of you 20 yards forward it, and it's a 15 second cooldown so it's a really fast 20 yard leap you can run around in ghost wolf form so you're already moving quicker with that mode and you can use purge to pull monsters that are really far away and then pop right back into ghost wolf and keep going after that, the time's kind of greatly reduced, so it was 7.43 on a Feral Druid, a Demon Hunter, and an Ellie Shaman, both tied at 8.01. And after that, the times start dropping off to the point that I think those are the classes you're gonna want to use if you're farming. At least inside of instances that have really long distances to cover, because they just move a lot faster. Um, my next time after that was... 826 on a Windwalker Monk and the video the footages you're watching I recorded you know some of them that's what you guys are seeing and in really fast forward I recorded my farming on the old man runs and uh, the Windwalker Monk was 826 so that's not too bad either um, just slightly 25 seconds off the uh, second place mark and then um, right after that were two ties again a prop pally and disc priest now the prop pally has a, an ability called cavalier and cavalier gives you two charges on your divine steed which moves you 100 percent faster for three seconds as well as knight templar which makes your divine steeds cool down half the time so instead of a 45 second cooldown it's 22.5 so that was kind of nice but Again, it was still way behind. It was at 8.42, so, you know, almost 40 seconds longer than the Demon Hunter. Well, actually, over 40 seconds longer than the Demon Hunter. And again, it just, it fell off after that. I didn't even bother trying a Warlock, because when I, well, you know, the only ability that really increases movement speed is Burning Rush. And after you run out of HP, you can't use Burning Rush anymore, and you're just walking at normal pace. 
So it wasn't even worth it, I thought, and I just left it at that. And then, um, also another one I didn't really bother trying was Mage, because, I mean, you got Blink, but that's it. After you Blink, you're walking at, um, they have the Shimmer ability too, which is two Blinks. But again, it's just, it's just not that fast, so I didn't even, you know, the time's gonna be really slow. Um, I, I had Marksman Hunter and then Holy DK, I ended up with the same exact time on both of them. Marksman Hunter, you use Post Haste ability for your Disengage, and you know, they also have the Aspect of the Cheetah, but that's a three minute cooldown for Aspect, and even then, they, they were slow. Unholy DK, you have Lingering Apparition, which reduces your Wraith form um, cooldown, or no, it doesn't reduce it. Yeah, it does. It reduces it, and it increases how fast you go, so you get a 15 per second redu reduction, as well as 30% more speed when in Wraith form. And you can use Chain of Ice to pull with them, but both Marksman Hunter and Unholy DK, I ended up with 924. And uh, in the last place, for the last one that I tried, it was Fury Warrior, and my gosh, they're just horrible. I thought they were going to be a lot faster when I read the, the abilities, but their abilities just, one of them says when you kill a monster, but it must be when you kill a monster that gives XP or something, because it wasn't giving me the 30% speed. Um, I used double time so I could charge frequently. There's also Bounding Stride, which gives you a 70% speed increase when you leap, and it reduces Heroic Leap's cooldown. Um, Frothing Berserker, when you reach 100 Rage, you move quicker, but you have to spend your Rage by using your Piercing Hell and then charge to get back to 100% Rage. It's just such a... Um, you know, a very difficult process, and you weren't going that fast. Even trying my best, I got 9.45, right? I was trying so hard to channel the energy, the rage so I could keep getting speed boosts, but I got 9.45 on a Fury Warrior. So, and Warriors still are shitty instance farmers. <laughs> Sorry, Warriors. But, oh, uh, in the end, I gotta say, if you really, really want to instance farm and you're still going for old transmogs and things like that, with all the nerfs and changes and stuff, either be a Feral Druid, a Demon Hunter, which is an obvious easy choice right now since Demon Hunter is pretty much already level 100. So, Feral Druid, Demon Hunter, or an Elemental Shaman. Those are my suggestions. Um, I think in the end, Demon Hunter has the most potential to be the fastest just because the way their mastery works. Um, if I was a really high mastery cap right now, I would definitely be moving a lot faster as a demon hunter as opposed to what I can right now. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy. Um, try out the classes for yourself. Again, those are my suggestions. If you find something that moves faster somehow, let me know. Alright, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.